Hi, Derek Takeuchi here from Takeuchi Galleries, here with Michael Stearns, our featured artist in Gallery One. Michael, could you tell a little, us a little bit about your art and the history? I started painting when I, drawing and painting when I was nine. Got my degree from LA State in painting and ceramics. Done painting and ceramics since I was nine. Don't do ceramics anymore, do some other three-dimensional work. The Shaman's Dance, which is this piece. I'm primarily a colorist, as you will probably see by this piece and the other pieces. I, I love working with color. I love the emotion that color evokes. I like the way that it reaches out and engages us with our basic primal needs and, and intensities. Uh, to me, color is one of the things, it's, it's kind of like music. It has a way of grabbing us, such as the same way music does through our subconscious. We don't even know we're reacting to it in some cases, but yet we are. And I like the way that that happens. And by sometimes mixing intense colors that don't appear to go together, it seems to create a calmness and a question all at the same time. It's like, why is he using these colors? Why are they going together? But yet they really seem to work and they seem to exude a confidence in how I approach my art. I work viscerally as well as intellectually. Besides the color, seeing how people react, having people look at my art. I think as artists, we're kind of a cross between huge mellow, you know, mellow maniacs here and with very strong egos and yet at the same time being very, very shy. I, I think showing your art sometimes is like standing up naked, you know, I mean you've really got to have a lot of courage to do that and it really kind of takes a great deal of courage I think sometimes to be an artist uh, in whatever medium, voice, music, uh, instruments, writing, to be able to give somebody your work or show somebody your work and say, this is me. I think that takes a great deal of, of courage. And you're exposing, you know, you're standing up and you're kind of exposing your heart. And so to me, I think that's, that's one side I enjoy. Being older now, I've kind of gotten a little more comfortable in that process where I don't personalize it quite so much as I used to. It's less about me. I don't worry so much about me as I know it's about the work. So I feel better about that. But the energy that's created while I'm moving, while I'm putting the paint on the brush, uh, and while I take that brush and move it across the canvas, it's, it's almost, you know, for want of a, you know, it's almost like a Disney movie where the stars and the fairy dust come off the end of the brush. It's just, sometimes it's just so exciting. You find yourself, you lose track of time. You lose track of time. And I think that's the best part. That's, that's the one thing that you can't, when you're in that state, when you're working from your gut and you're working from the emotions, you can't think about anything else. Uh, and I think it also brings a great clarity. It's almost a form of meditation. It's because nothing else comes in and out of your head while you're doing that. You want to get those, you're so, in, you're so hooked on the colors and the transfer of the color to the canvas and the feel of the canvas against the brush and the brush on your arm, it becomes an extension. And I tend to gesture, I tend to paint from the gesture. So I really feel when I'm, when I'm locked into the canvas, it's almost like it's on a track. And that energy that transfers back from the color, back to the brush, back to my arm, and you know, and into my gut, it's something that you get hooked on, just as though you would any other addictive kind of process. <laughs>